Welcome to another episode of Game Time. I'm JP Murrieta. This week's episode is presented by Nusenda Credit Union. And we're at Santa Rosa High School, home of the Lions. And it's two for one week as we speak with both the boys and girls basketball programs. Alongside me, Joe Escabel and Abby Gudgel. Ladies first. You're going to have to wait, Joe. All right, let's talk about the girls program. But before we get to that, congratulations are in order. I understand you just had a new baby. What are the details? Height, weight, name? What position does she play? <laughs> she was uh, 7 pounds, 8 ounces, 22 inches long, and her name is Quinn. So. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And Thank she'll you. be out here, I'm sure, playing basketball she before will. you know, yep. right? Yep. <laughs> well, now, now let's get to the team. You have six seniors on this year's roster, if I'm not mistaken, and no freshmen or sophomores. How, how much does that experience help at this point in the season? Um, you know, it's intangible. Seniors bring a type of chemistry that you really can't build in a season. Um, this group especially has been playing together since they were, you know, third and fourth graders. So they can do things on the court that we don't have to put in in practice. They push each other um, and they push their lower classmen so that when they do leave next year, we can hopefully fill that void. Well, before they leave, who's getting it done for you this year? Who's carrying a lot of the load out there? Um, we have a new power in the paint. Um, Isabel Poisson mm. is, uh, she's really strong, really strong in the paint. Um, Miranda Sanchez also always dominant in the paint and then our shooting guards, uh, Tristan, Daylin, and Danae, are always willing to put up points for us on the outside. So. You started the season with an overtime win and then won six of your next seven, something like that. Yep. How much did that overtime win really set the tone and propel, propel you into the year? Um, we came in not knowing anything about that team. And the, for the girls to show up and show that they had that much drive first game of the season, um, you know, showed that we can dig out of a hole, we can dig out of a deficit, and I think just set the standard for the year. Looking, looking at the schedule and the teams that you have played, uh, Tucum carries on there quite a few times, four times <laughs> during yep. the, uh, and yep. you haven't even reached district. Have yep. you ever had a non-district uh, uh, opponent that you faced that many times in one year? <laughs> no, this was a first. Thankfully, we got them on the last one, so we did get a win out of them. Um, but we just met them at tournaments and then at their place. So it was nice to beat them on their home court, for sure. Well, as you approach district now, you and Clayton are both currently ranked in the top five. What's going to be the difference maker between you two? I think for us, it's, it's going to be our seniors. It's going to be our push. Um, this year, we're a second half team. We're a fourth quarter team. We don't quit. We press all four quarters. And I think that we can outrun a lot of teams. So even though we don't have a deep bench, we, we can push all four quarters. Well, lastly, the Lady Lions have only appeared in two state title games, 1981 and 2004. Haven't won a state title yet, but what would it mean to get to that final game, potentially lift that blue trophy? Uh, for these girls, I think it would mean everything. You know, they have all the athletic ability in the world, and it would show that we have a program at Santa Rosa. We're not just a basketball team. We're a state contending program every year, and it would it would really set the standard for the younger girls, you know, that we can play in the big house. <laughs> well, you're headed in the right direction at this point. Now let's talk about the guys. Joe Escabel, head coach, thanks for joining us. And you know a little something about state championships as well. You were the starting point guard or starting guard on the championship team in 1990. What do you remember about that experience and the whole magic of March basketball in New Mexico? Well, just all the hard work and great effort that that team put together. You know, we had a great group of seniors. We had a great bench. We had a good chemistry. We had a good coaching staff, and everything just fell into place at the right time. At one point, you've coached your sons on the basketball court. Your daughter is on this year's basketball team. What's it like being a coach, watching your kids develop, um, and you're in the middle of the whole process? Well, in small communities just like Santa Rosa, I mean, we grow up wanting to be Lions, Lady Lions, future uh, athletes, and it's a big part of our community. And to see your own kids out there, uh, that's really special. And to help develop other uh, student athletes, it's always a blessing as well. Who are the student athletes that are uh, getting it done for you guys this year? Well, right now we're led by four seniors in the program. Uh, we're very proud of uh, our senior athletes. Most of our athletes you see here are three and four sport athletes in the school. 
They participate in football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, track. Uh, there are honor students in the school, and we're very proud of everything they have to offer in our program. Only four losses at this point in the season, and three of those four losses are by single digits, so they've all been close, even those defeats. How do you feel about your team's offense and defense at this point in the season? Well, right now, you know, we faced a pretty tough non-district schedule. We're getting ready for what I feel is the toughest district in AA. Uh, we have Clayton, Texaco, and Pecos, and I feel just those close games have gotten us stronger for our push now in February into March. You mentioned Pecos. Everyone's really chasing the Panthers at this point. What's it going to take to kind of take down a powerful program like them? Well, a little bit of consistency, you know, attitude and effort goes a long way. Of course, we have speed and strength and ability, but I feel our attitude and effort coming into a district play is really going to help us. And how do you size up uh, your classification this year at this point? Well, there's a lot of good teams out there, you know, talking about our, our district, all four of our district teams are ranked in the top five, you know, and then we have ATC and Manal and other quality teams like JAL. So we know we have a lot of work ahead of us. And lastly, as I started this interview, your por portion talking about the state tournament, you know what it takes to win state. What's it going to take for these guys to get to that point and get it done this year? Just continue trusting in each other and building a bond and, and, and team chemistry and uh, sticking with the game plan. You know, we have different types of opponents that we play. Uh, some are big, some are fast, some are strong. And, you know, I always feel that we got to be as strong as the southern schools, but as fast as the northern schools. And that's a good combination for us here in Santa Rosa. All right. Well, things are looking good for the Lions, both on the boys' front and the girls' front. Thank you both for being here. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, arguably the largest group we've ever had on game time. We'll be back with more game time after this. Are you living the life of an athlete? The New Mexico Activities Association brings you Life of an Athlete, a resource for students, educators, and parents to understand the challenges students face. Athletes, one night of drinking will negatively affect your athletic performance for two weeks, and athletes who drink or do drugs are twice as likely to get injured. Alcohol's effects can reduce a high school athlete's potential by as much as 20 to 30 percent. Are you living the life of an athlete? Log on to the website to find out today. This high school gym used to be packed most nights. Not anymore. Do you know why? Because bad behavior by fans, especially adults, has caused a shortage of game officials across the country. You see, without officials, we can't have sports. Don't let this become reality. It's time for a change. Let's bench bad behavior for good. We wanted to take this opportunity to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure to download the NMAA 24-7 app. It's free, and free is cheap. Chances are likely you have a phone in your possession right now, so go to the App Store or Google Play and download the free NMAA 24-7 app. It's the best place to find schedules, scores, highlights, and follow your school all year. And here's the best part, we will have giveaways all throughout the year. You will be registered to win just by downloading the app and signing up. We will have prizes from Dick Sporting Goods, Dion, Sonic, Tournament Pass giveaways, free tickets, and much more. You like free stuff? Then download the NMAA 24-7 app. The best place to find tournament brackets? The NMAA 24-7 app. The easiest way to find out when your team is playing next? The NMAA 24-7 app. Where can you go to find out the final score you're looking for? the NMAA 24-7 app. It's all in one place, the NMAA 24-7 app. So go to the App Store or Google Play and download the free NMAA 24-7 app. Hi, I'm Josh Cordova from Santa Rosa High School and check out the latest Max Preps basketball pools.
My name is Dylan Pacheco from Santa Rosa High School. Welcome back to Game Time. Welcome back to Game Time, presented this week by Nusenda Credit Union. The Hobbs Boys basketball program won their first state title back in 1956. And take a look at some of the state basketball records they still hold. The most state titles overall, of course, Ralph Tasker is the winningest coach in state history. Their 123 points in a state tournament game back in 1970 is a state record. So is their 176 points in the regular season against Roswell. They scored 101 points in a half against Carlsbad back in 1970, which ranks second nationally. Highest scoring average, most points in a season, most field goals in a season, most field goals in a game, most consecutive wins, and their program has recorded three undefeated seasons in 1965, 1981, and 1999. You could say that the Hobbs High School boys basketball team is the most successful program in the basketball passionate state of New Mexico. Here's a look at this year's team. Hobbs High School has more state titles than any other boys basketball program in New Mexico with 17 overall, but they haven't lifted the blue trophy since 2015. Head coach Shelby Reeves says this year's group lacks experience like last year's team that reached the state quarterfinals. We have a young group, but they're real scrappy. They get after it. They, you know, they work hard. Uh, it's probably one of the hardest working teams I have had. Michael Mackey carries most of the scoring load for the Eagles this year. Mackey is a three-year starter at Hobbs. To me, I think he's one of the, probably the better guards, you know, in the state. Uh, I mean, he could jump. Uh, he can, I mean, he could take you off the dribble. He could pull up for threes. Uh, his ball handling, he could, you know, he can go in right hand, left handed. Uh, I mean, so he's, I mean, he's a pretty flashy player. The Eagles have logged plenty of road miles this season with multiple trips to the metro area. In fact, 15 of their 26 scheduled games this season are away from home. That's a lot of road games. It's a lot. But, I mean, last year we had a lot of home games, so now we have to make up for it this year because we had a lot of home games last year. So. They know they got to get up. They got to play wherever we're at, whatever we're doing. Uh, whatever's going on. So, I mean, they're, they're coming along. You know, we have actually more wins on the road than we do at home. Whether it's at home or on the road, the Eagles hope to fly into the postseason in March. The Eagles start district play this week with games against Roswell and Clovis. That's going to do it for another episode of Game Time presented this week by Nusenda Credit Union. Be sure to check in with us every week as we travel around the state to talk with different programs, different sports. We have highlights, we have polls, we have features, we have spotlights, we have it all. The place to find the most high school highlight coverage is right here. We'll see you next time on Game Time.